We as Georgians believe in the right of the people to defend themselves, and therefore we believe in the Second Amendment. Throughout my career as a legislator, I have voted for, and as governor, I have signed legislation that protects the rights to keep and bear arms. It is a right that is ingrained in the very fabric of our nation. Yet, the inheritance of a right does not preclude the need for vigilance by succeeding generations. Thomas Jefferson told the world in the Declaration of Independence that we are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights. He believed in the right to bear arms. He said, and I quote, the strongest reason for the people to retain the right to keep and bear arms as a last resort is to protect themselves against the tyranny in government. But, but Jefferson also said this, that each generation of Americans must make its own way, saying that, and I quote, one generation has no more right to bind another to its laws and judgments than one independent nation has the right to command another. So today, our generation reiterates the desire for this fundamental right for our own reasons. While we still guard against tyranny, America today cherishes this right so that people who follow the rules can protect themselves and their families from those who don't follow the rules. The General Assembly during this past legislative session passed this piece of bipartisan legislation by large margins that extends the protections for Georgians who have gone through a background check to legally obtain a Georgia weapons carry license. House Bill 60 will protect law-abiding citizens by expanding the number of places that they can carry their guns without penalty. At the same time, this bill respects the rights of private property owners who still set the rules for their lands and their buildings. The various parts of House Bill 60 do much to expand the rights of gun owners who are licensed to carry, but it also expands the rights of those who serve our nation in uniform.